Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. And a question that you might have is, why did the stock market pull back today? So I'm gonna go to forward slash NQ. And I don't know if you guys all noticed this, but you might have seen a shift. So the market opens here in Arizona, which is Mountain Standard Time at 6.30 a.m. Everything was looking good for the overall market. We were showing signs of an uptrend pattern. And then all of a sudden, at 9.44 Mountain Standard Time, around 9.43, 9.44, there was a very aggressive sell-off. This, you know, I had a lot of people asking what is going on. To put it in very simple terms, if you guys look into the news of not only forward slash NQ that is provided for you in TD Ameritrade, I actually made a video about six days ago talking about Gilead Sciences and they're, they're actually publicly traded. So this is ticker symbol G-I-L-D. And as you guys could see at 9 43, 944, it had a very aggressive sell off, and obviously, it's had a negative influence as it's been showing signs of an uptrend after yesterday's performance and even at the market open. But because of this article that was released, I'm actually going to share the link. The first link in the description is so you can take time and do your own due diligence to read more about what exactly happened. And it's pretty much this article that talks about new data on Gilead Sciences drug pretty much released by accident shows no benefit for the coronavirus patient, meaning that the overall drug that we were working towards in hope of it potentially becoming a vaccine has shown little to no results. Gilead Sciences responded with the article is inconclusive, but altogether there is no question that because of this article, it did not only affect the overall market, but huge corporations that have been absolutely killing it, such as Amazon at 944, a huge drop. Obviously it recovered right away, but the same thing with Tesla at 944, a huge drop. When it comes down to Facebook, a huge drop. And when it comes down to the correlating ETFs and ETNs, as we've talked about so many times before, that when forward slash NQ sells off, what goes up? SQs. This is why it's so important to understand where to put your money when you understand that maybe something is overbought or oversold. So as soon as we saw that forward slash NQ was oversold and SQs pushed up, obviously I missed out on the huge push as it happened so quickly, but then it showed a lot of pullback potential and then we started trading TQs, which is the inverse of SQs, meaning that this follows the overall market direction. Again, one of the risks when it comes down to trading TQs and SQs is that they are leveraged ETFs and that's something that you have to learn a little bit more about. Altogether, I was able to close the day at $4,414 profit, so not too bad for a couple of hours trading. But what I wanted to share with you is, this is big news. If you guys remember six days ago, when this drug originally released, how effective it was for its patients in Chicago, it was huge, it pushed the market up. Now it's showing the exact opposite. It's showing to have no effect to its overall coronavirus patients, which means that it's putting us back to step one. So one of the questions to ask yourself is, now that we're back to stage one of not necessarily having a working vaccine or even a drug that is showing any actual effect on coronavirus patients, is how do you think this is going to affect the overall market? Feel free to share this in the comment section. Do you think that this is just gonna be a one day pullback and then the market's gonna to continue to push up? Or do you think the news of us having no vaccine, especially as the United States and other European leaders are in the works of reopening our borders and getting America back into business? Do you think that they're gonna feel as confident as they were before when we had this potential vaccine in the works? Or do you think that this would put us at a greater risk because it puts us back at step one where we have no vaccine or any drug that is actually showing any positive effect or impact to fight this coronavirus? Let me know down in the comment section. Again, I just wanted to make sure we've been getting this question so often of what caused the market to sell off very quickly. And again, it is because of this article that I'm gonna link down below, the first link in the description, so you can take time, learn a little bit more about it, and develop your own opinion. I hope that you guys absolutely smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, I do wanna invite you, we are the largest Facebook group in the world for those who invest in the stock market. Over 262,000 members, and that's gonna be that second link down below. You guys saw that I absolutely killed it today in the market, 4.4K. If you guys wanna watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, click the third link down below, learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group, see if being able to watch me trade live would be something of value for you. And again, we'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's live trading session. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.